Hi, I'm doing this video because Richard Vigo Barnett was convicted on all eight charges ranging from interfering with governmental proceedings and um, let me see, what was the other charge? Oh, leading a riot. And he was one of the leaders. He had a bullhorn and everything. He was egging everybody on. He was rushing through the halls. And managed to get into Nancy Pelosi's office. He captured the chair, put his feet up on the desk. Here he is defacing our flag, has it thrown there like a rag. He left a note for Pelosi saying he was there. He claimed he was looking for the toilet when he entered her office. That was an obvious lie. And when he got in, he never looked like he was looking for the toilet. Here he is sitting in a chair. He's not looking to go to the restroom. He could get up to 20 years for these eight charges. He had rejected a plea deal earlier that would have limited his time in prison. He felt that he would get off, so he he said he was not guilty and he went through a trial. It only took the jury two hours to convict him of all eight charges. So we'll have to come back later and find out how many years he gets to serve for this act he is a firefighter and I, I love the firefighters but you know we cannot overthrow the United States government there are many people in the United States who would like to overthrow the United States government but it's not one of the things we can do we would be a third world country if every time one of the American groups was unhappy and we all rushed into the Capitol, took over, threatened to kill the Speaker of the House, which at that time was Nancy Pelosi, threatened to hang the Vice President of the United States, which at that time was Mike Pence, and even had a noose outside of the Capitol that they were symbolizing as the place they were going to hang him. Mike Pence will had to be escorted quickly through back stairs down to the garage where he waited until things calmed down so he could reconvene the meeting and certify the election of President Biden. It's just not the way things are done. And this was all started by President Trump trying to get 11,780 illegal votes from Georgia. He said, I just need 11,780. Just create them and send them to me. He didn't say it in those words. But those are illegal voters. Imagine if we all just created voters in order that our favorite candidate could win. That is just not the way it is done in the United States. So we'll have to watch and see how his case goes, see how many years he gets. And I hope we can settle down. Trump's presidency was one of chaos and daily lies. He operates best in that environment, but it really agitated the citizenry. 
please like and subscribe. Bye.